In this video, I'm going to create a C program for counting the number of words in a string. So first we'll make the string. We'll say car s is equal to this is the way. And this is a string with four words in it. And we'll make a function to count the number of words in a string. So we'll say int word count car star s. And then we'll provide a definition for the function down here. And the function is going to accept a string as an argument, and it's going to return the number of words in the string as a return value. Now, because we're working with strings here, we're going to include string.h. That is a helpful library that includes all kinds of functions that let us work with strings, including one function called string length, strlen, and another function, strchr. So the string length function just returns the length of the string, not including the null terminator on the end of it. The strchr function is going to check for a character in a string. And it's going to turn out both of those are useful for us. So here we'll say, int len is equal to strlen s. So first we'll get the length of the string. We'll make a variable for keeping track of the count of words in the string. We'll say count is equal to zero. And then I'm gonna make a special character array here. I'm gonna say car non words is equal to space and period. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna treat these as my delimiters between words. In other words, I'm going to treat these as the characters that separate words. So these spaces here, these separate words. This period here, it could also separate words. We could have a space and then another sentence here, right? And we would say that these are like word delimiters because they separate words. I could even add some extra characters to this as well. So I could say here maybe comma, semicolon, new line, and tab. These are other things that we could say are going to separate words. There are spaces and punctuation marks and white space that are going to separate words. And we're going to treat these as our word delimiters. And the way we're going to solve this problem of counting the number of words in the string is we're going to have a loop that's going to go through this string with an index. And we're going to have an inner loop that's going to identify each word and then another inner loop that's going to identify each set of delimiters that separates the words. And in that way, we'll be able to count through each one of the words. So let's implement that. We'll say here for int i is equal to zero, i is less than len i plus plus. So here's our outer loop that's gonna step through the string. And then our first inner loop is gonna identify a word. It's gonna identify and step through the next word, whatever it is. So we'll say here while i is less than len, we're going to use i as our index variable to step through the string one character at a time. And we're going to say this, we're going to say if str chr in the non words array with s at i doesn't equal null, then we're going to break. Otherwise, we're going to increment i. Okay, so what's going on here? So first in our outer loop here, we're starting i off at zero, right? So we're starting off at the, the very first part of the word. And we're going to increment i by one normally. But this first loop here, what it's trying to do is identify the first word in the string and every subsequent word in the string and then step through it until we reach the next delimiter character, the next character that belongs to this string here of delimiter characters that we are saying are going to separate our words. And so the strchr function, the way it works is you pass it a string and you pass it a character. And if the character here cannot be found in the string, then it's going to return null. So what we're saying here by checking if strchr non words si doesn't equal null is we're saying, can the character be found in this array here? And in the case of all of these characters here, like T-H-I-S, it won't be able to find those characters in this array, and it will return null. And so if that's the case, that you know it's equal to null, that's fine. We want to keep incrementing I. We want to keep on stepping through the word here. But as soon as it's not equal to null, in other words, when strchr doesn't return null, when it returns something else, it actually returns a pointer to the position in the array where it finds the character. As soon as that's the case, we know that we've found a character that is in non-words. So 
So long as it doesn't equal null, we know we found a character that is in non-words. And at that point, we want to stop. At that point, we reached a delimiter. And we could say that, okay, we have now identified a word and we've stepped through a word. So at that point, we're going to say count plus plus because we're going to say that we've identified a word and we've now stepped through it. Now, the next thing we want to do is step through any delimiter characters until we reach the next word. So we want to step through any delimiter characters until we reach the next word. We can't just assume there's a space here and skip ahead to the next word because there could be multiple delimiter characters. Maybe there's a period and a space. Maybe there's a comma and then a space, right? And so what we want to do is skip over any delimiter characters that we encounter until we reach the first non-delimiter character. And at that point, we've got our next word. So let's go with that now. We're going to make a loop to do that. We'll say here, while i is less than the length, i++, plus plus, we're going to say here, if str chr at non-words si is equal to null, break. And we're kind of doing like the opposite of what we were doing in this loop here, right? This loop here was trying to step through the words. This loop here is trying to step through the delimiter characters. And so what's going on here is we're saying, well, once we find that the character that we're looking at in the string is not one of these delimiters, so it returns a null, it's going to return null because it can't find this character in the array here. So it's not one of these characters. At that point, we must have reached a word. So we've gone through these characters and now strchr is returning null. So it can't find this character in this you know, uh, array of delimiter characters here. And at that point, we've say, we can say, well, we found the next word. So we want to stop and we'll stop at that point. And so after we're done this, we'll return the count. So we'll just say return count here. So let's give this a test now. We'll say here int count is equal to word count. And we'll pass an S. And then we'll do a printf of count. So we'll say printf percent D slash N will output the count. Okay, so here we've got five words. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So we'll give this a shot here. We'll say GCC dash O D D dot C run it and we get five and we could try some other stuff. So we could put like some, maybe some periods on the end here or something like that. And if we recompile it, it'll still be accurate. We'll still get five. And so we've made a function in C that can count the number of words in a string. Check out portfoliocourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.